Shalom Akim, all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Rakak Wadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and salute to sincere Akim out there of the hopeful elect. All right, the entitlement of this video is going to be called There is a Great Gulf Fixed Between Us. All right, and the us is talking about the nation of Israel and the nation of Edom. Okay, the nation of Israel, which is the sons of Jacob, consists of you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right. The Edomites, or the sons of Esau, consist of the so-called white race, all right? The Caucasians, Europeans, uh, Americans, as they call themselves, okay? You know, there's a great gulf fixed between the two nations, man, which is the reason why we can never um, get along with each other or coexist on an equal scale, all right? You know, we have, um, you know, a lot of these pork chop pastors and false preachers and teachers out there that um you know that teach that uh everybody can get along and that you know Jesus loves everybody you know and he, when he comes back he's gonna unite humanity and it's gonna be a big uh rainbow human family all right that's all BS man that's not according to the scriptures all right you know that's their twisted interpretation of the Holy Bible okay but when you read the, the scriptures in its true context in which you have to be uh, a man of the Lord to really to really understand the mysteries of the Bible, okay. But when you even when you read read it in its true context in its true form, uh, there is no there is no um, uh, racial unity in the scriptures, man. All right, the Lord is only dealing with one nation whom, whom He loves, which is the nation of Israel, which is you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right, so um. No, let me get this scripture real quick. This is Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 25. Okay, because you know that that, that speech that Martin Luther King came out with uh, years ago, back in the 60s, uh, on the Washington, in, 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 in the, on the Washington Mall, all right? I have a dream and what have you. You know, black boys and white boys and girls, you know, getting the... Uh, holding hands and getting along with one another. That's all that's 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 all BS, man. All right. That's why Martin Luther King was a false prophet. And I'm gonna bring the scripture out real quick. This is Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 25. It says, I have heard what the prophet said that prophesy lies in my name, saying, I have dreamed, I have dreamed. All right. And that um that speech that Martin Luther King delivered that day, you know, back in the sixties. That was written by a so-called Jew. I forget this guy's name, you know, but you brothers can do the research on it and, uh, and look it up. You know, it was written by a gutter rat and, you know, Martin Luther King, you know, you know, he was well groomed to be a, to be a great public speaker and, um, and he delivered the speech. All right. <clears throat> but that dream is a fallacy, man. All right. And anyone talking at uh, spewing such words is a false prophet. Okay, Jeremiah 23 and 25. I've heard what the prophet said that prophesy lies in my name, saying, I have dreamed, I have dreamed. Here you have it. I have a dream. I have a dream. All right. And annually they celebrate Martin Luther King Day, in which he was famous for that speech. Okay. Uh, this is the book of Proverbs, chapter 11, verse 21. It reads, Though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished, but the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. All right. So though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished. Okay. And who's the wicked according to the scriptures? The so-called white man. You know, you got a lot of uh, black and Hispanic people that that that, that like to, um, incorporate the so-called white man uh, in their struggle. You know, protesting and rallying and marching against social injustice, but um. The so-called white man, they could never relate to your pain. You know, all of the pain and suffering that, that we've endured as a nation. The so-called white man, they, they can't relate to it, man. You know? You know, because they, they haven't experienced it. All right? And I know a lot of you um, jakes out there tripping and getting all st stirred up and roused up in the spirit over this, uh, over this devil, Kyle Rittenhouse, who, who got acquitted. All right, for them, uh, for them first degree murder charges out there, in, I believe it was in Wisconsin. All right, uh, for shooting two 
Edomites, by the way, two crackers at a um at a Black Lives Matter protest. All right. And now um the two devils that he shot, but they were they the they the devil anyway. One of them was a so called Jew. And um I believe his last name is Rosenbaum. I, I can't remember his first name, but uh but what I do remember is that um it's documented that he was convicted of child molestation. All right. And see, and we tell you, Jake's out there, man, you know, stop running with these little these little BS militant groups and you know these groups that are all about social change and revolution, man. The Lord is not the Lord is not dealing on that level, man. All right. You know, protesting and rallying and burning up the community and all of that kind of crap to to get some kind of um to get some kind of new laws on the book to 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 protect your civil rights. Okay, that's not how the Lord deals, man. All right. There's gonna be a race war, according to the scriptures, and Jake is gonna wind up uh prevailing. All right. You Israelites, you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, we're gonna wind up prevailing. All right. Through the spirit and power of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. Okay? Not by getting the so-called white man to sign new laws into effect that he's going to wind up breaking anyway or not keeping his end of the bargain. All right? Like he's always been doing. He has a history of. Okay? Or getting sympathy from these devils, man. That's not how it's going to work. All right? So, um... Yeah, so the guy, the, the guy, I believe his name was Jeff Rosenbaum, if I'm not mistaken, the so-called Jew that was killed by one of the, one of the victims of Kyle Rittenhouse during that BLM protest, all right? And he was a convicted child molester, okay? So, you know, anytime you jakes are out there marching for a cause or whatever, and you got so-called white people, all right, in your um, protest or a part of your organization, you have to, you have to question them, man. You have to question them, all right? See, you, you Jakes, you look at the so-called white man. Oh, yeah, it's good that we even got the white man down with us. The white man ain't down with you, man. He's not down with you. He's not your friend, all right? The scriptures say never trust thine enemy, all right? Now, what in the hell are you doing having a goddamn child molester pumping his fist for Black Lives Matter? You know, which is supposed to be for your cause, all right? You know, this guy is a convicted uh, child molester. All right. Well, he's deceased now, but Jake don't question these these uh these devils that come up in their in their little um in their little revolutionary groups. Okay, and that's the problem. All right, the so-called white man is not down with your cause. He can't relate to your cause. Okay, like I stated at camp, if anything, you know, if you if if if, if they if anything, you could have them just donate money to you, man. All right, but as far as being out there on the front line with you, you know, marching, all right, uh, protesting and rallying, nah, they 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 not supposed to be down with that, man. All right, you know, that's why the scriptures say, Proverbs eleven and twenty one, though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished, because they're the wicked. At the end of the day, they're wicked. All right, they don't have a righteous bone in their body, man. Okay, in in in. And a lot of them guys are agent provocateurs, man. And we've been seeing that during these Black Lives Matter protests. When white people get involved in the protests, what are they doing? They're stirring up, uh, they 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 they're stirring up a whole lot of uh, tension, unnecessary attention. All right, throwing bricks through windows, and you know, and you know, just just a, it's, it's just a, 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 a skid of bricks sitting in the middle of, of the street. Where the Black Lives Matter protest is going to be held at, all right, and it's and it's just sitting there waiting there anonymously, okay, and you got these devils, these these um these crackers, they're supposed to be so roused up in the spirit for for the for the for the sake of uh, black social injustice that they're the ones throwing bricks through windows and having poor Jakes running up in the stores, looting these stores, man, and it's so everything is all caught on camera. And once the, once the smoke clears and it's all said and done, the police is snatching you jakes up, man. All right? They're snatching you, they snatching you jakes up. They're not concerned with the, with, the, with the agent provocateur that threw the brick in the window. They're concerned with these little stupid jakes that ran in, there, ran in the store and did a snatch and grab. All right? Okay? 
So you're not supposed to trust these devils, man. Though hand joining, though hand joining hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished. But the righteous of this, but the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. Yeah, the elect of the nation of Israel. Because ultimately, it's going to be social chaos in the society. It's going to be race wars. Cities are going to burn down. All right, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be shooting and killing uh, amongst each other of the races. The different class divide, division here in, in, in this society. But the elect of the nation of Israel is going to be delivered. All right? That's the seed of the righteous. You righteous Negroes, you righteous so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right? You will be delivered out of all of this, man. Okay? This is, um, this is the book of Luke, chapter 16, verse 26. It says, and beside all this, between us and you, there is a great gulf fixed all right yeah there's a great gulf fixed between us between jake and the so-called white man the nation of edom all right which is the reason why we can never come together in unity and be at peace and harmony with one another okay one has to be above the other all right the so-called white man is on top right now for the time being you know he's the one in rulership enjoying the perks of the vain perks that this society has to offer, all right? And you so-called Negroes and Latinos and Native Americans will forever be at the bottom as long as this devil is in rulership, okay? You, you will never meet each other. You will never come to meet each other on an equal balanced scale, all right? The scale will forever be tipped. Either the so-called white man is going to be on top and Jake on the bottom, or Jake is going to be on top and the so-called white man is going to be on the bottom, but there's a great gulf fixed between the two, all right? That's why we're so different. We're so different in our spirit as a nation, man. You know, we do things different. We talk different. We dance differently. We like different, uh, uh, we like different things, okay? We're culturally different, okay? So-called white man, they try to come into our, our culture. They call them uh, uh, culture vultures, right? You know, the so-called white man try to get down with hip hop and, you know, graffiti and dancing and, and you know, um, uh, rap music and all of that kind of stuff. And even with the ath in the athletic world, man, the so-called white man just don't have it, man. You know, he don't have that rhythm, that flavor that, that Jake has. You know, he's just stiff and bored and corny. All right. Even down to the lingo, man. Like I was, I was doing a job, man. Right. With this double, with this. Edomite, this devil, we was doing a demo job. You know, demo was, you know, it's, it's, demo was rough work, man. You know, you got to tear shit up and it's dust and everything all over the place, you know. And, and um, my coworker, he was like, he's like, damn, we got to do demo, man. He said, man, this this job is a pain in the dick. And I looked at him, I, and I, and I started laughing. I'm like, damn, I've never heard that term, man, a pain in the dick. I, I said to myself, I said, damn, black people, we don't talk like that, man. That That's corny, man, you know. That's corny. I could, if you'd have said a pain in the ass, I heard that term before. But a pain in the in the dick, I'm like, man, I never even heard no corny shit like that before, man. You know, that's because our spirit is different, man. You know, and in Edomites, they they can't even curse right, cause that that's a that, that's you know that that's that would just sound totally corny to me, man. You know, it can it threw me off guard, man. You know, but that's the so called white man for they they they're not um they're not we we our our spirits can't coexist with one another man you know we're so far separated from each other in the spirit all right so luke 16 and 26 it says and beside all this between us and you there is a great gulf fixed between the so-called black man and the so-called white man there's a great gulf fixed it's fixed it's situated all right okay it can't be removed it says so that they which would pass from hence so so that they which would pass from hence to you cannot. Neither can they pass to us that would come from thence. All right? So there's no getting together, man. There's no uniting, all right, with the so-called white man. You know, blacks and whites coming together, all right? There's a racial divide, man, okay? There's a racial divide, and that's been fixed and set by Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shah. So you can't go against the Heavenly Father's will and try to, you know, get down with so-called white man and and um and think that he will he will fully accept you as an equal, all right? 
because there's no such thing as equality first and foremost okay uh the, the lord the lord is not dealing with with um with equality you know he the lord is a separatist all right and and he's about and he's certainly about that social division okay and racial division this is uh deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 8 it's, it reads, when the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam, and we all come from the sons of, we're all the sons of Adam. We all descended from Adam, okay? But the Lord separated the sons of Adam. He didn't, he didn't have it where all of the nations would be united together, you know, as a, as a big global community, all right? It says, when he separated the sons of Adam, he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. Okay? So the children of Israel is not like any people on the, on the planet Earth. All right? You know, that's why the Lord said he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. So a bound a boundary is something that you are not able to pass. Okay? So a Moabite cannot, cannot become an Israelite. You know, he cannot be converted into being a Jew. All right? Uh, African cannot be converted into being a Jew. A, a Arab cannot be converted into being a Jew. A so-called white man, an Edomite, cannot convert to being a Jew. Okay, that's the that's the bound. The Lord set bounds up. All right, the the race that you were born in, or the nation that you were born in, is the nation that you belong to. You can try to act like a so-called white man all you want. You can go to his schools, to some of his pristine. You, prestige universities and try to talk like him and try to adapt to his ways but never but at the end of the day if your lineage goes back to israel you're an israelite man and it's going to always be something about you that's going to stand out to the so-called white man that he's not going to like about you all right you know this is um in this in this on in this scripture on this uh let me see All right, this is Deuteronomy chapter seven, verse six. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy power. The Lord thy power has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. All right, so the Lord chose the nation of Israel. We're that holy people that the Most High has chosen. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right, it says the Lord thy power has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth meaning superior superiority man okay to excel above the nations man to be better than the nations okay all right and that includes the so-called white man all right we're better than him we're not you jakes out there that are protesting and striving to be equal with them you out of your goddamn minds man all right and you idiots out there in the churches that believe that the so-called white man can be your friend all right, and the, the 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 dream of Dr. Martin Luther King of being equal to these devils and being accepted by them, you're out of your goddamn minds, man. All right, you supposed to feel, you you supposed to feel superior. All right, it it, it shows in our actions. We're athletically superior than these devils. You know, we we we're, we're smarter than these devils. You know, these these crackers don't have no common sense. That's why when you watch a lot of these horror flicks, these devils they go run and approach the danger, man. All right, and wind up getting killed. Okay, all right. And these devils are wicked. They're serial killers. They're 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 they're, they're uh, pedophiles. Okay, they're they're witches and warlocks. They're into all kind of uh, madness, man, and chaos. Okay, all right. But our people, when we put our minds to 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 things, you know, we're all about how to make how to make things better, how to how to um how to bring harmony un, un, unto life. Okay, all right. We're righteous. We're a righteous people, man. You know? Okay? That's why we're above the other nations. That's why the Lord uh, favored us over the other nations, man. And you should be proud of that, man. You should be happy about that, man. You should be praising Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai about that. That's the Heavenly Father and His Son. Okay? All right? So, I'm going to end this video on that note, man. And I'm going to say Shalom, Wa Barakum. I hope your brother's been edified. All right? Abba Ratazah, I'll see you in the next video. Shalom.